city. And this is the very first we see as we walk in the, the gates. Patrick Murphy. Underneath this place are the deposited remains of Patrick Murphy. 18... Was it 18? Is it 1880 or 18? 1880, yeah. And his wife, Emma, 1884. Beautiful, isn't it? And that is known as the... What did you say it was called? The Weeping... And the Morning Angel. The Morning Angel, sorry. That is beautiful, isn't it? You see the, the lines just at the end of it there. This slight token of affection is placed here by James Murphy O'Connor to the memory of his true and loving wife, Bridgie. I'm going to have to change glasses, I'm afraid. Just bear with me, guys. Sorry. I should have had, had my Hi, Helen. sunglasses on. And I Hi, Wendy. These on. Sorry, guys. Changing glasses because I cannot see anything. <laughs> That's a bit better. Hi, Regina. I just fix my mic now. Painting houses. Hello, how are you? Hi, Sylvia. I've missed. Uh, Dot, hello. How are you? We're in Cork, guys. I'm just fixing my mic, so just bear with me. Hi, Happy. Cathy. Have a look at this, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Mo. How are you? Hi, Jason, cemetery man. How are you keeping? Hi, Jason. What do you think of that, guys? Isn't that just beautiful? Hi Liz. Oh, now. Hi M Mikey Moo, how are you? Hi John. Well, we've a load on. This Hi. is brilliant. Hazel. Hazel, how are you? Isn't that just beautiful? This place is stunning here. This is my first time ever being here. And we've just done, a, in a different part of Cork, we were videoing somewhere else and Irish Eyes is here specifically for one or two graves in particular. And one very famous one. One famous one here. Very famous. Very, very famous and a lot of you have asked for it. So he's going to do that and I said, while I'm here, I'm going to go live. This place is absolutely beautiful. But uh, we could walk along the path. Oh, thank you, Mo. Really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much, Mo. Um, lots of obelisks along here as well. Oh, wow, this place is stunning. Ye are seeing it for the first time with me. Um, it is really bright and sunny, but um, it's kind of been given rain and on and off as well. Just look at this one over Maureen here. Maureen McCarthy. This cemetery must be close to you. Is it? It's in Cork. I'm I think you were saying something about County Cork before. I think Maureen was asking, was she, about Maureen this McCarthy. place? I just want to have a look at this. Wow, Dot Phillips, thank you so, so much. Really, really appreciate it. Look at this. Did I bring the torch? I did. It's probably in my, my backpack, as Tony from Cryptora says. <laughs> it's in my backpack. Dora Explorer. Yeah, I'm known as Dora the Explorer now, guys. Have you got it? This is interesting. Look at this. Oh, look. Mary Ann Sweeney. Sweeney. Uh, in memory of her beloved mother. Sylvia Wright, thank you so, so much. Eliza O'Callaghan, who died March 1863, 1863. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's like it's left on top of it. Yeah. We've seen those in, like, and there would be triple the size of this. This is beautiful. See all the, the orange lichen. Is the picture good here, guys? Because it says 5G coverage, so... Yeah, guys, is the picture good? It should be. We have 5G. I've never had 5G in Ireland before. <laughs> this is a very new one for me. Um, I can get 4G, but even with that, it's great, Mo says. Ah, thank you, Sylvia. It's good. And the sound's good, Mo said. Brilliant. Look at this. James, erected by James Sheehan in the memory of his beloved mother, Jane, 1859. Isn't that gorgeous? Now we, tell them who I'm going to look for. Are you? Well, we, let's see. 
Thumbs up, guys, if you want to know who Irish Eyes yeah, is. Yeah, thumbs up if you want to know what famous grave I'm going to blog. Yeah, that's, oops, jeepers, I nearly fell. See me falling live would not be so good. Uh, thumbs up from Amy. Uh, thumbs up from Maureen. Come on, guys, thumbs up if you want to know who the famous person is that we're going to, well, the Irish Eyes is going to video. Yeah, it sounds like they all want to know. They all want to know. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh, thanks, Regina. <laughs> That's so kind. Oh, wow, look at that in the middle. Oh, my God, look at this. See, this is like me now in a, a closed door. Can I walk over to this? This seems to be okay to walk Tell over to. Minutes, Tell you now in a few minutes. Look oh, at Lord. that. This is huge. Wow. Yeah, they're all giving you. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Karen. Sorry if we've missed anyone. Memory of. Let's have a look. This is daily. Uh, just moved down. Harriet, is it? No. Oh, that's H A R. Harris, is it? Harris? Harris. H A R L E S. Is it? Daily, yeah. Daily. Any date? Um, 14, is that 14 there? No, I think it's, it's faded here. Oh yeah, but see underneath that it says aged and then go across 14 it looks like. One four years. Do you see that? There, look. One and a four it looks like. 14 years old. Oh no. Oh here's more, look at. Sacred to the memory of John Daly, XMP. Uh, Legion something, died October 1905, age 76. Oh, hi Nana D. That is beautiful. So big, isn't it? Now, I can't see with the sun and I can't see without my glasses, so you'll just have to bear with me, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, guys. Oh, yeah. Go for do, do, do you remember a famous Irish American actor? We'll see who very gets famous, this right. A leading man, very handsome man in his day, an actor. He's known for how handsome he is. And people still leave love letters on his grave, I believe. Right, we we'll see if anyone will get it. Oh, look at this one. Family vault of William Harrington, who died October 18. 55, also the burial place of Daniel O'Donovan, MD, who died April 18 something. Nana D, you're the winner. Ah, she got it. Very clever. Well done. Night Rider, Von Rhein's Express, Streets of San Francisco, and many more. Now, <laughs> we will have to look at find a grave to. Uh, find out exactly where he is. Look at this one as well. I've seen a few of these ones. It's not beautiful. It's made to look like it's a timber or like wood. Hi Scouse, how are you? Oh look, we have a little flower. The family burial place of William and James Dillon. And there's a Rosa and a Mrs. W. Dillon as well there. Not beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my goodness me. This is, wow, look at, there's two. This one, and it goes like a, you know, a real needle pin top at it, at the very, very top. And then this one, look at this. Oh, wow. This was worth. I think it was three hours drive, I think, but it was worth it, even though I had oh, several, <laughs> several like panic attacks <laughs> in the traffic. I'm not used to loads and loads of roundabouts. Isn't that just fantastic? Let's see. Is that a vault, I wonder? Nana D. Got that very fast. She surely did. Well done, Nana D. Uh, hi, Linda. Um, yes, this would have been a vault. I can see there, I would imagine. 
that goes in underground. Unfortunately, the writing, we won't be able to read it. It's, uh, unless your eyesight is much better than mine now. Hi, Roma. Hi, Greg. What time is it in Ireland? What time is it now? Um, it's 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Look at that. I wonder who that is for you. <laughs> it's, I don't know whether even that's writing or kind of like, oh, look, there's a big... Oh no, there's rocks behind it. I thought we were going to have a, a little nosy in there, but we're not going to. That is stunning. Lovely. It's a pity we can't read that on it. Let's see this one beside it. Botanic gardens. Yeah, this place was a uh, botanical gardens. And then it was transferred over. A bit like um, Glasnevin or Mount Jerome, that kind of um idea i suppose this is also a vault i'd imagine uh there can you see that it's like michael michael burke is it no is it yeah. michael burke 1837 i think guys uh in memory of kate sisk 1885 can't see her year of death um or sorry, I can't see her, what age she was. In loving memory of Nellie, the dearly beloved wife of Nicholas Sisk, 1907, age 42. Watch this, guys. Look at that. And there's, is that an iron up at the very, very top of that? No, it's... Um, is it a statue? It's a small statue, but the head is... Oh, the head is missing. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, Roma, thank you so much for a coffee and a roll. You don't know how Irish that sounds when you say a coffee and a roll. It's a, the, a thing here in Ireland. You get a coffee and a roll. This cemetery, guys, was, is, uh, it was created for the poor by Reverend Theobald Matthew, a Franciscan. Oh, that's prior. right, Theobald. Yeah, I do remember reading that. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. Look at that in the hand holding the scroll in memory of William Deneen, who departed this life, 1831, age 77. Isn't that just beautiful? That is gorgeous, isn't it? Do you see the hand holding the scroll? Yeah, isn't it fabulous? Uh, the weather is off and on because you can see now that blue sky has suddenly turned grey and dark. Um, there's a mortuary chapel, yeah, they're always beautiful, actually. Um, I'm just trying to meander my way around just to give you... I thought I was going to video it, and then I thought if the coverage is good, I will definitely go live, and we are in luck because we have 5G, as I said. Guys, I'm so sorry if I've missed any of your um, chats there. I do apologise. Um, I think Amy asked what... County we're in, we're in County Cork, Cork City. Uh, what is down there, oh lads, this just place just gets better and better. We have, I don't know what's... I haven't seen any mausoleums. Down there. here, is that a mausoleum down there? It looks like See a, it? a small mausoleum, I think it is. And I haven't found... There's a mausoleum in here, I think, if, to a family from Cork. I forget the name, I'll oh. look it up. Oh, look at this. Famous Claude and Company that have... Beloved husband, dad, granddad, and precious friend, Jack. Jack was obviously a fisherman. Oh, just trying to get around. Look at this one. Look at the rails on that. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous as well. I can see the name Michael. It's huge. And here comes the sun again. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Cathy Stewart. I'm sorry, guys, if I've missed you all going along and chat. Look at this one. Haven't seen Crypto. Crypto could be working, of course. Look at this. Oh, wow. Mrs. Mary Ryan. Henry. He was, Henry was only 19, guys, when he passed in 1832. Oh, and then we have Christine. She was only three when she passed in 1893. And Polly age 16 and 1911. That is so sad. Hi, Abigail. Hi, Abigail. 
Hi Hazel, did we say hello to Hazel? Cemetery man, you're, what time are you live today? Oh, is it soon, I wonder? Uh, let's, I don't know where to walk guys. I can see some a beautiful statue up here actually. Maybe we'll try and get back out onto the path and walk up this way. Haven't seen. We're in Munster. Cork City, it's in Munster. 9 a.m., Jason says, but I don't know what time that is here. About an hour from now. Oh, look at this. Look at all these ones, yeah. George Taylor, who died September 1890, age 71. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know what stone that was either. It's kind of looking like it was marble, but it's kind of all turned black. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that. Ferns, flowers. That is gorgeous. I will be done wrote on it. Let's see if I can get in a little bit further. That beautiful. That is the mortuary chapel behind us, guys. Isn't that beautiful? See the way it's all kind of gone black. See if I can zoom you back out. Where is that statue I seen? Um, oh, there's a f oh, there's a few. <laughs> this place is fantastic. Let's Guys, wish me luck on finding Edward while well, here's yeah. great. Because this place is huge. All we have really is a photo of the the grave, and we do have probably it's on find a grave, but. Let me have a look at this one first. Um, whether we'll be able to find them that way, I don't know. Oh yeah, they're, are they eucalyptus trees, I think. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful as well? Oh look, we faces around the sides of it. Henry Keating, it looks like 1888. We could spend a few days in here. You are. Saint Joseph is the... Correct. Uh, yeah, St. Joseph Cemetery. This is unreal. This is what you call beauty. Wow. Look at this. Jeremiah O'Callaghan, who's lost his life at Kilmallock Railway, Railway Station, 1892, whilst... Uh, Endeavouring. To save a poor old woman. Oh. So you can read that again, will you, so they can hear Jeremiah O'Callaghan, aged... 32. ...is a 32 yeah. years old who lost his life at Kilmallock Railway Station in County Cork on September 1892, whilst in... Devering. ...devering to save a poor old woman. Oh. So he probably tried to pull... A, a woman probably fell at the railway tracks and he tried to grab her. Yeah, maybe. it says, from a terrible death. This monument is erected by the public. Uh, tribute to the bravery and self-sacrifice. Displayed by him. Oh, that patient. is so sad. God help him. Imagine back in the 1800s. Wow. That is beautiful. I can feel the rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Look at this. Sacred to the memory of Mary Agnes O'Connell, 1896. Died in Natal, is it? July 1912. Any idea where that is? Is it? Natal. Natal, is it SA? Does it look like SA? It's very hard to read it. Here comes the rain. Natal. Uh, S -A. Is that oh, here it says, it says then May O'Connell died on Long Island, New York, 1957. Wow. That is beautiful. And you can see the angel is, is looking up. Absolutely gorgeous. Abigail, thank you so, so much. Really, really appreciate it. And I think we're going to, I never brought the umbrellas in the back of the car. Maybe we'll be all right. I know, it's strange. More statues. I don't know where to go. I mean, I want to kind of find 
Let's go down and have a look at that mausoleum. Which, oh yeah, down this way? Yeah, down okay. Down so guys, you're just coming along with us for the, for the walk. Um, Hopefully it stays bright. Well, it's getting heavier. Sugar. Let's keep going. I should have brought the, the Barali. And I have it, it's in the car, like. Oh, I see another lovely monument up here, actually. Kind of, huh? An angel. An angel? Wing kind of through here. Where do you see that? Oh, yeah. That looks old, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like it's kind of after fallen or sink. It's kind of sunk into the ground. Maria Curtis. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mary that is Hammer fantastic. Curtis. Oh, dear, guys, you're going to get wet. Okay. I hope the phone will be okay in this weather because I don't want to to stop we haven't seen half of what I wanted to show you now I just wonder up in the newer part would he be buried up in that newer area I'm not going to bring you to it because Irish Eyes is going to do a full video on it but I was just wondering would it be a newer area look at this one with the anchor and a ship uh, in loving memory of my dearly beloved husband, Daniel MacDonnell. Uh, County Antrim. County Antrim. Born that in has Antrim. And an Died anchor. Wow. It must have been a sailor as well. There's a ship on it there in the front as well, a picture of a ship. I need a, ca a camera, Brawley. I do. I have a U. I've about three of them in the back of the car, like. I just didn't think we were. I think we need a tent. We <laughs> need a tent, Over yeah. Us. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's get back onto the pathway here. My backpack is getting wet, guys. <laughs> Tony be laughing now. He should have put the brolly in my backpack. Look at all the monuments here. Wow. This place is huge. Just look at that. That is lovely. It's a real kind of gothic feel here, isn't it? Even with the... Oh, look at the pigeon on top. God, he's very... Very still, isn't he? <laughs> wow, look at these. John Henry... Sucro, is it? A great kind of a... Crest there. That is fab. Oh no, we're going to get soaked, but we have to keep going. I just want my phone or my mic getting damaged. I wonder is there a shelter somewhere? Huh? Oh look, this is like, a uh, look, on the ground. It's kind of like a, oh no, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> Why didn't I bring my umbrella? Oh, that was silly now. Now what I could do is stop the live. Get the umbrella and continue on. I don't want my phone getting damaged. But then again, it kind of eases then as well. It's, it's a bit weird. I want to try and get down to the, um, mausoleum. the mausoleum area. Is there no path down it's to down it? Here. Oh, hold on, there is. Uh, Anybody from Cleveland? <laughs> if we can get into the mausoleum, we'll get shelter in there. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I'm under the... Anybody from Cleveland? Actually, we've Ohio. got we've got hailstones. <laughs> this is turning into not the best situation. <laughs> oh no! Sorry guys, I have you under my hood. Oh, we're going to get soaked. Right, guys, I think we're going to have to stop the live and try and get out of this weather. I might come back on, um, but if I'm not, <laughs> you'll understand why. Take care, guys. God bless. Oh, can't even turn it off. Yeah.